Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Dota of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to this channel. And I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So it is pretty late. Um, well, not too late. Um, but for me, knowing I have to get up in the morning, it's late. And I am here to finally record <laughs> my July book haul for you guys. Um, I'm so excited to do this. Now, you haven't seen me post a video in a minute because I'm having Wi-Fi issues and then I was having issues with my um, camera on my phone. My fiance did give me his Canon 5i or 5T. It's a Canon camera. I don't know how to work it. Um, so I'm learning how to work it. And I don't like to record on my actual cell phone because the quality on this, um, the front facing camera sucks. The back facing camera does work great. But I try not to use this camera because um, I just don't like it personally for like YouTube videos. I do use my Galaxy S4 to record videos. And now I have this Canon camera here. Let me see if I can take it out to show you guys. Because my fiance upgraded to a 6Ti or something like that. Yeah, it's the EOS Rebel T5. I hope you guys can see that. But, um, yeah, he gave me this to use, but I suck, um, at it. I can take, like, bomb photos with it, <laughs> but video-wise, I don't know. So, I have that, which I'm going to learn how to use to take videos, but I normally just prefer to use my Galaxy S4. I would prefer to use my S5, but my S5 is a little damaged, so I have to use the S4 because this phone that I have here is not the best um, for my YouTube videos, at least. But all that rambling aside, I decided to make a bunch of videos, edit them while I go to the library, and then up like have them scheduled to be uploaded on the days that they're supposed to be. So yeah, but um, book haul. So you guys know I get books every month because I am a book reviewer. I have a book blog, and I also have uh, my Christian blog, Daughter of Increase. And um, I got a lot of things sent to me. A lot of this stuff. Um, was for like launch re launch reviews launch teams um, of like out upcoming books or book releases so I'm going to start off with like my audio stuff audios like CDs and DVDs so I do have three from Joyce Meyer and I just want to state this because I know that um, a lot of people do send me messages asking me if I listen to her and if I like her I do like listening to her obviously after I listen to any preacher pastor evangelist whatever I go to the word for myself and I pray for myself um, but I find nothing wrong with um, listening to her and then once I'm done listening to her studying the word for myself seeking the Lord for myself um, so I just wanted to say that because I know that uh, there was not an issue it wasn't an issue but someone did um, state that uh, she was a false teacher or something like that. I can't remember what it was, what it was. Um, but we did have a good, like, a good conversation about it. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to state that to get that out the way. Um, I enjoy Joyce Meyer. I mean, you don't have to like her. I personally enjoy her. Um, when I was younger, she had a book. I can't remember the name of the book, but it was about the fear of the spirits. And, um, I read that when I was really young, about maybe... 12 or 13 I read it um, my aunt had a copy of the book and it was probably one of the first Christian nonfiction books I ever read that was actually quite interesting um, but all that aside the CDs that I have from her um, this bold confident and courageous you can live free from the grip of fear and do it afraid um, it's a what is this five teachings on CD and it doesn't say how long it is um it retails for $31 I did not pay that I paid a donation fee for this so here is how the cover of it looks I really like the artwork I've said this before her um her artwork her just packaging is stunning um and it is five CDs that's one two three four and five and I know somebody asked me, um, how do I feel about her CDs? Honestly, I haven't listened to any of my audios yet just because I'm, like, catching up on book reviews and stuff. Um, but I do listen to her every now and then on YouTube. So, I mean, I'm gonna assume it's just as good as listening to her on YouTube. Um, the next one I have is The Power of Words, which you can, 
um, what you say can make all the difference. This one is four teachings. It's four hours long. This one doesn't say how long it is, but I'm going to assume, assume it's about anywhere from four to five hours long. This one is four hours long. It's four CDs. Um, the cover is cute. Eh, it's alright. Same kind of ordeal with the CDs in here. This one retails for $26. And the last one I got from her is this one called Moving Forward, Key Life Lessons That Brought Me From Brokenness to Wholeness. And this is for teachings. It doesn't tell you how long, but um, yeah, I'm not going to open it up. You guys get the idea. Four CDs are in here. But so those are the three that I got. And I really do love her um, audios. I think they're good for like when you're cleaning the house. But again, you don't have to like her. And even if you do like her, um, listen to her. And then after you listen to her, Go in prayer for yourself and study the word for yourself. Um, but the next items I got are from Our Daily Bread because we know Shanae loves Our Daily Bread. Um, and yes, my name is Shanae if you guys don't know, but I go by name. But um, the first thing I got was from the Our Daily Bread Media Club. I didn't even know they had this. Um, so if you guys don't know, they do these little devotionals they send out every quarter, which I've been getting those for years. But with those devotionals, they also offer like free books, free planners, free journals, and things like that. But um, I think two months ago, I found out that they had a media club, and I was like so stoked. So two of these are actually from the media club. Um, this first one is Discover the Bible Lands, Exploring the History of Significant Biblical Locations. That's what it looks like. And um, it's three discs in here. The first one goes over Habarna, Beersheba, Bethlehem, and Capernaum. The second one is about Jerusalem and Judea. And then the third one is all about Galilee. And that's just how it looks. I haven't watched it yet. I'm so excited to get into that. Um, and then I got this one, which is also from the Media Club. This one is In the Pursuit of Peter, just parts three and four. This is a six-part series, I think. Yes, it's a six-part series. Each is about 22 minutes in length. But um, I got this because I know that they was coming out with the DVD. And Our Daily Bread on this store, they actually are selling it for 17 bucks, I believe. And I was able to get this, which was In the Pursuit of Paul, um, the Apostle, for... A donation from that site um, and it's presented by Dr. Constantine Campbell and I just thought it was cool because this actually follows like Paul the Apostles um, what is it uh, it's a seven part series and it follows his journey from Jerusalem across the Mediterranean all the way to Rome where he was martyred so you're going from Jordan to Israel Turkey Cyprus Greece Malta and Italy and places like that so I got that and knew that I wanted to check this one out which is about Peter and I do love Peter who doesn't love Peter the Apostle like uh. anyways this is only parts three and four there is a six part series you can get it on Amazon um, Amazon Prime I think and regular Amazon um, but yeah this one just does the same thing kind of follows um, Peter's journey so I got that to see if I want to get the uh, actual full DVD then I got A Lane Without Borders from John A. Beck, and it's a DVD study, and I got this because I already had Along the Road from him, um, so I figured why not. They just looked like they belong together. So yeah, this one is about the wilderness, pretty much. Just the wilderness. And then this one here, Along the Road, is about... Um, Yeah, along the road that Jesus walked from Bethlehem into the wilderness, into Mount Moreau, to the Gion Spring, to the Capitalist, to Mount Hermon, to Mount Arbel, which is where he did the Sermon on the Mount. So I have both of these. They come with study guides that you can get online for free. So those are the audios that I received. Okay, now I have a lot of books here. I don't even know where to begin because I just have so many. So I'm going to start with this stack. No, I'm not. I'm going to start with Moody Publishers because they're right here in front of me so I am a blogger reviewer blog reviewer book reviewer I don't know how you want to say it but um I do work with MP newsroom which is a part of moody publishers and um, I always leave links to where you can sign up to join these programs um you do have to have a working active blog and do have to post at least once a week 
Um, and basically, I get all of these books for free. I don't pay shipping or anything. I'm only required to read the book and give a review. And most of the time, what I do is I will briefly read um, a few chapters in the beginning, a few chapters in the middle, a few chapters in the end, just to get like my basic review out. Um, and then once I go through and actually fully read the book, I then go and edit or do an updated review for the book. And I do it that way just because I know a lot of companies um, don't like to wait months. And some companies actually do keep track of the reviews that you do and how many books they send you. So um, just be mindful of that. But I have, I don't know, this is not even from them. I have two from them. So the first one I have is um, a Bible study. So I hauled this one last month, and this is the unexplained and unexplainable life. It's from Erica Wiggenhorn. Wiggenhorn, can't talk. It's super late. Sorry, guys. Um, this is a ten-week Bible study from on Acts one through twelve, and I mentioned that I had ended up with two copies of this, so I ended up giving a copy to my mom. So I, like I told you, requested the second one. They sent me two copies of the second one. I gave the second one to my mother. Um, I gave the, like, the, the second copy to my mother, but this one is the Unexplainable Church, and this is on the last, the last half of Acts, which is Acts 13 to 22, 28, 28, sorry, 13 to 28. So um, it's not as thick as the other one, but I'm excited to have this. It's about reigniting the mission of the early believers, and um, it's a verse-by-verse -verse study of Acts 13 to 28, 50 lessons over 10 weeks. And I'm excited. I am so, so excited to get into this. I wanted both books. Um, and I do own all of the Bible studies that they have for MP Newsroom for the women. So I will do a separate video on that. But um, yeah, I got that book. And then the second one I have is this one. And this is actually three books in one. And this is, I think, a special edition collection that you can only get from Moody Publisher. Because it's nowhere on Amazon. But um, it's A.W. Tozer. It's The Knowledge of the Holy... The Pursuit of God and God's Pursuit of Man. It's three spiritual classics in one volume. And here it is. I got this because I hear a lot about A.W. Tozer. And I actually do have his um, Bible that is in the KJV translation. I think I hauled it last month. You guys can check out the haul. Um, click the eye on the screen to see which haul I was talking about. Um, but there's a Bible with a lot of like his commentary from his different books. And I decided since MP... Um, sorry, Moody Publishers has a lot of his books to start requesting them and start reading them because a lot of people that I do like to listen to, a lot of pastors and preachers and stuff like that, um, do reference him a lot. And some of the books that I read reference him, so I figured he was a very notable person to uh, check out. So I decided to start my collection of his work. So I have three of his books in this one book here. Moving on, I have one from Tendo. I do have another one on the way, but it's not here at the moment. So, yeah, that'll be in my August. But this one is Tessa Ash Afshar's Thief of Corinth. And, um, you guys, I so love Tessa Afshar. Her writing style, phenomenal. Out of this world, it's amazing. Um, I, I, this one actually talks about Paul. Yes, it talks about Paul. It has Paul, um, the Apostle Paul, in this book. So I knew it was going to be something that I was going to want to read because I do like Paul. I like all the Apostles, honestly. But, um, yep. I do have a review of this on my blog, so you can definitely check that out. And it's so pretty. And I have read Pearl in the Sand from her. Loved it. Um, Pearl in the Sand was a story of Rahab. And, uh, beautiful. And then I'm currently reading In the Fields of Grace, which is about Ruth and Boaz. So I'm loving that so far, too. So I'm excited to dive deeper into this book. Because I've done a review on it, but I haven't really fully dived into it. Because I do like to write in my book. So that's that. And that was the only book that I have from Tindall for this month. The next few are all from Thomas Nelson. Um, Zondervan, HarperCollins kind of thing. HarperCollins Christian, Publishing Christians or something like that. The actual name will be on the screen. But um, I have two from the Thomas Nelson branch, and then I have three from the Zondervan branch. So the first one that I got was Taylor Made, Discover the Secret to Who God Created You to Be by Alex Seeley. And just, just, just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. If you haven't read it, read it. That's all I'm going to say. Read it. Beautiful book. Beautiful. Um, and then I actually requested this because it was pretty honestly um the book itself is great um i have gone through it a bit good book i'm not gonna lie but it was initially just a cover request it was pretty and i thought it was going to be gold foiling but it's not gold but it's okay it's called am i embracing the truth about who you are by grace valentine 
isn't it pretty guys i really thought this was going to be like gold foiling but it's like a mustardy olive color it's still pretty but i really do like this because it has questions in here um activities and stuff you can do and i, I just ugh. and it just goes through different lies that um we as women tend to believe so i really i like books that try to dispel the lies that we believe in our minds it's amazing um moving on to the books from zondervan I have two of the same kind of styles. This is 10 minutes in the word Psalms and then 10 minutes in the word Proverbs. And it's basically a 46 day devotional or 46 chapter devotional. Let me just double check that. Yes, it's 46 chapters and um, there are no dates on these devotionals. So it's, it's no dates like at all. It just gives you um, a scripture from your selected scriptures that you have, your chapters of scriptures you have to read. You get a devotional. You get a prayer and then something that you can do, um, like an activity or question to answer. I love both of these. I think these are great ones. You can throw them in your purse. These are kind of like coffee book table, coffee table books. <laughs> My brain, coffee table books. And um, I'm a sucker for a good devotional. I love devotionals. I think those are great starters for the morning or for verse mapping or anything like that, scripture writing. Last thing from Zondervan is one that I was super, super excited about because, um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't really read most of her work. Um, I've like glanced through some of her work, but it's by Anne Spangler, and she is the author of Women of the Bible, which I do own that. And um, this is called Less Than Perfect. It actually just came out August, 2nd, August 7th, um, and it's a, a devotional study of broken men and women of the Bible and what we can learn from them. And what really intrigued me about this is that she talked about people that I really didn't know. And people that, you know, I do know. So, obviously, Adam and Eve. She talked about Cain, Sarah, Jacob, and Esau. Um, the story of the Shechem. She I'll put the name on the screen because I can't pronounce that. Um, the story of Tamar, Judah, and his terrible brothers. Miriam, Jonah, Jezebel, Gomer, who was a prostitute that um, Hosea, the prophet Hosea, was told to marry and love. Um, Judas, the one who betrayed Jesus. Pontus Pilate, I can never pronounce that man's name, Mary Magdalene, Bathsheba, David, Mikhail, Saul, um, Hannah and Penina, Naomi and Ruth, Delilah, Rahab, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, David's sons, um, his three sons, outside of Solomon, um, and yeah, it's it, it, it just looked really good, and it is, you guys, oh my god, I was able to glance through it a few, it's a beautiful book beautiful book with lots of questions um and things to help you ponder and i like books like that that really get me into them and um really ask me like questions that i can think of for myself love love a good book like that okay the next books are from bh publishing right yes bh publishing so this first one is actually a kid's book and it's called all the colors that i see um and this book is really for like you know, young toddlers, preschoolers. Um, my son is in kindergarten. He knows his colors, but this is still a fun book that I can play around with him. Um, I'm teaching him how to actually, like, spell out words and look at words rather than just colors. So I thought it was a cute book to get. And it literally is just like, a, I think this is a chameleon right here. This chameleon changes the colors. Um, so literally just goes through the colors pretty much. So I got that. Then I got Mere Hope, Life in an Age of Cynicism um, by Jason G. Dusing. It's forwarded by Russell Moore. Um, cover request, not gonna lie. I love anything with feathers and the color was just pretty. That's all I can say about that. The Marriage Challenge, A Finance Guide for Married Couples by Art Rayner. And I requested this because I'm not, I'm not married yet. Um, I suck at finances just being truthful I suck at that and I want to be better about that especially before I do marry my fiance so I got this <laughs> that's pretty much it and then living fit by Ronnie W Floyd making your life count by pursuing a healthy you honestly I wasn't going to request this because I thought it was about fitness but it's more than just fitness um it's about you know being fit spiritually physically relationally financially and emotionally that caught my attention so i definitely requested this um i read briefly through it i'm gonna reread through it again but i really like the tips that it has um 
and different ways you can like live out activities and stuff that you can do. So this is a good one. Um, moving on, I have three books from, sorry that it's so long, uh, what is the name of this publishing company? Uh, Ambassador International. So I have three books from them. And honestly, I forgot I even requested books from them because I requested them a while ago and I just received them. So yeah. Um, but this is The Leader's Wife, Living with Eternal Intentionality by Debbie Thompson. And what intrigued me about this is that, if I'm not mistaken, she's a pastor's wife. Not a pastor's wife. She does missions and um, she just talks about being the wife of a leader. And I just thought it was interesting because I wanted to give it to my friend slash sister. Because my sister and my bro, they're not really related to me. Um, they're my friends from church. But I call them my sister and my brother. They're getting married and she is going to be his first lady since he is a youth pastor. So I wanted to grab this for her um, after I obviously read it and review it. Because I felt like this would be a book that she could utilize. This one is from June Kimmel, and it's More Than These, a, woman, a Woman's Love for God. And the title alone really just interested me. The cover is okay, um, but the title really just caught my attention, honestly. So it says, Lovest thou me more than these? More than these, a woman's love for God addresses the question that every woman who desires to walk with God must face. How can a woman love God as she should and keep the rest of her life in its appropriate place? Um, I'm sorry, in its proper place. And I just think that's amazing. It talks about your family, your friends, your possessions, um, and how like those different aspects can become idols in our lives. And I have found an occasional time when I've made my son an idol or I've made... Um, different aspects of my life and idol over God um and not intentionally obviously it's just like I spend more time with those things than I do with him that um I just knew this was a book that I was gonna love and it looks like a pretty short quick read so I'm qu quite excited to um check this out and then the last one from Ambassador International is actually a bible study and I've actually saw this one on um where was it where did I see this Amazon but there was somewhere else that I saw this and I wanted to get it because it just looked quite interesting. It's called Enough of Me, Winning the Tug of War Between Our Flesh and Our Mission. It's an eight-week Bible study by Priscilla Peters. And, um, yeah. I mean, that alone just sounds amazing. Um, and there are, like, questions in here to answer. Lots of scripture references. Um, this looks to be a five-day-a-week Bible study. Yes, it's five days a week, which most studies are like five days a week and you get the two days off to either catch up or rest. So I'm excited to actually get my fingers into this really soon. Almost done. Almost done, guys. Almost done. So the next three books, um, honestly, I feel like I showed this one last month, but I can't remember. So I'm going to show it again because it just released. <laughs> um, and it's Eat at Home Tonight by Tiffany King. It is a hundred and one simple busy family recipes for your slow cooker sheet pan instant pot and more and i'll actually be utilizing this in september because i'll be cooking a lot more in my household so i'm excited to get my hands into this and pick out some recipes i probably will do a video um showing you guys the recipes that i use from this book but um then i have the life giving leader by tyler reagan this is an uncorrected proof i am a part of the launch team for this book and I'm excited for this. This is learning to lead from your truest self. And I got this because, um, one, I do lead Bible studies here on YouTube and in my Facebook group. Um, I do have Daughter of Increase, which is kind of like a ministry. And I'm also getting into leadership, sort of, kind of, in my church. Um, not really, but kind of so. It's coming, so I'm kind of, like, preparing myself for it. So, um, and I'm also on the administrative uh, team and production team at my church as well so I knew this was something that I wanted to do and um, this book comes out September 18th so I'll have a video review most likely around that time and lastly is this beautiful journal now you guys have heard me talk about the five-year spiritual journal before um, which I love I haven't honestly been keeping up with it the last time I used it was July 24th so I have a lot of catching up to do probably tomorrow I'll catch up tomorrow because tomorrow will be the 10th so I have to catch up all of that but um so they have a three-year spiritual journal um it's 
the daily question for you and your children. Three years, 365 questions, 1,095 conversations. And I think this one already released, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's a three-year journal for you and your child. It's a keepsake. And you can actually, like, put a photo here in, the, in like, the front of it. There's a section for you, like, to put the photo. Which I thought is so cute. Um, it says, turn to today's date and have your child respond to the question at the top of the page. By asking the same question a year later, over three years, you'll create a precious time capsule that captures your child's development and personality. Um, the one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have a ribbon. Like, this one comes with a ribbon. This one doesn't, but I mean, I guess it wouldn't if it's a kid's book, right? So I did do the one for August with my son and it was August 9th and it said what is your favorite thing to do outside um, he said he likes to go to the park and play in the grass so that's basically what I wrote and sorry he's actually right there sleeping so I just checked on him but I'm um, oh my god you guys so precious so so precious so I'm excited to have another journal um, to do but with him as well let me get a sip of my coffee and now I'm moving on to the last one which is Baker's Publishing Yep, Baker's Publishing Group. Good coffee. So I have two from Rebel, and it's four from Baker's Baker Books, but I think it's only three because I think I showed the other one before. But the first one from Rebel, which is a branch or division of Baker Baker Publishing Group, sorry, is um, Healing the Scars of Addiction by Gregory L. Jantz with Anne McMurray. It's reclaiming your life and moving into a healthy future. Um, I don't deal with addiction. Um, I don't battle with that at all, but I felt like this was a good book to grab um, because I do like to intercede and pray for people. So this one is about illegal drugs, alcohol, gambling, food, prescription medication, shopping, pornography, technology, and just all the different addictions we can have. And um, I really like this because it talks about filling in the hole and dealing with the shame and the guilt and the approval of others and stuff like that so you know the emotional pieces the relational pieces the intellectual pieces the physical pieces the spiritual ones i really think this is going to be a good one too just to have in my arsenal for those times when i want to pray for someone um the next one is praying god's promises the life-changing power of praying the scriptures by linda evans shepherd and honestly i like anything that has to do with praying scripture any book that deals with praying scripture, I like um, just because I feel like praying scripture is amazing. So that's pretty much all there is to say about that. This one does go um, by section, I guess you could say. Let me give you a few ideas. So um, answers to prayers, blessings, breakthroughs, comfort, deliverance, direction, faith, faithfulness of God, healing, heaven, worship, trouble, success, strength, salvation, relationships, purpose, provision, protection, presence of God, things like that that you can pray. So prayer arsenal yeah i say so and then lastly um i'm gonna show this one last because i'm not sure if i showed it already but um the first one i have from the baker's book division is this it is how joyful people think by jamie ramasuin eight ways of thinking that lead to a better life i honestly can't remember why i requested this book honestly but it has the whole idea of like having your, your glass half empty, half full kind of thing. So I think that's what got caught my attention. Can't remember. And I'm not even going to say I know what it's about. Oh, but Larry, um, Dr. Larry Crabb actually blurred it in the back. So that's cool because I'm actually reading his book, which I'll show you. Um, then I got The God Impulse, The Power of Mercy in an Unmerciful World. Jack Alexander um, forwarded by Walter. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that last name right there. Honestly, the title and the subtitle attracted me and sounded really good, so I requested it. And this looks like an olive um, branch with olives in it, so yeah. You guys know. Um, then I have this one, which is by Michael Youssef, Life-Changing Prayers, How God Displays His Power to Ordinary People. And um, the cover was really nice, the title was really nice, and um, anything with prayer is like something that I'm stuck and hook on, hooked on. So, I love that this actually, oh wow, it talks about Hannah, the prayer of brokenness. Oh my gosh. Eliza, 
the, a path to answer prayers. So I guess it goes through different types of prayers and people in the Bible. Um, so that's quite interesting. Can't wait to dive into that. Um, the last one I'm going to show you guys because I'm not sure if I hauled this one or not. Um, it's from Dr. Larry Crabb, and it's when God's ways make no sense. And I will have a review on this magnificent book. Oh my gosh, I think I hauled it. Um, last month can't remember short brain memory but um i'm gonna take off the cover because i'm actually reading this book right now and you guys oh my gosh i'm not even that far into the book but let me just give you a quick like glance at the inside of my book i can't open it like that <laughs> i've been writing and highlighting and annotating and i mean let me see. I take notes at the end of each chapter because I'm going to have a book review on this. This is amazing. Look at that. You guys. I think I only made it to chapter two. Or am I still in chapter two? Oh yeah, chapter two gave me so much life. <laughs> when I say chapter two gave me life, I only made it to chapter two. I'm only 48 pages in, you guys. This book is amazing. I'm taking my time because I'm doing clean with the book club and I'm reading a book with my mother and then I'm doing uh, a book with my sister. So I have a lot of books that I'm reading. You guys will see uh, my August reads and studies soon. That video will be coming soon. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my book haul. Not a lot of books, but all the books that I got have to do with either prayer or their devotional styles or something like that. But um, that's pretty much it. If you want to see a review on anything specific, let me know specific let me know and um comment down below and i'll do that for you guys i am gonna have the book review for cling i'm gonna have the book review for fervent all those book reviews are coming um cling i'll do after i'm done with book club with the doi facebook group um because i'm like annotating it differently now um than i did the first time definitely have a book review on this one coming once i'm done with it because it's so so good but that is it for this haul. I'm so sorry it's so long. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you want to know how to get into book blogging or get these books for free um, to review them, let me know. I don't mind sharing with you guys how I go about doing that. I feel like if I know something, I should share it with you guys so that more of you guys can go out and get the same resources and books that I have. But um, that's pretty much it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.